Hello, and welcome once again to What's On in Barcelona. Well, I'd be surprised if you haven't been where I am now, because I'm standing in one of the most visited museums in Catalonia, Picasso Museum. And why am I here? To tell you about some good news about a new initiative on the part of Barcelona City Council. Now, if you thought that Sunday afternoons were just for lounging around, you might want to think again, because as from last month, you've been able to get into the Picasso Museum and all other municipal museums on Sunday afternoon completely free of charge. Apart from the Picasso Museum, which has recently acquired some new works by this artist, other museums that are open on Sunday afternoons include the Palau de la Verena, the Pedraba's Monastery Museum, the Barcelona History Museum, the Botanical Gardens, the Seine Hub and plenty of others. Something to suit all tastes, in fact. Another place under these new opening hours is the Museum of Contemporary Arts. And you might want to call in there sometime over the next few weeks because it too has acquired more than 250 new works which it has included in an exhibition called Temps Coma Materia, Time as a Subject. These new acquisitions by 80 outstanding artists embrace the last 50 years and include works by Hans Hacker, Matt Mulliken, Rita McBride, Tere Recarenz, Sanya Ivekovic and Francis Torres, among others. And once you've bought your ticket, you can go back as often as you like without paying again for as long as the exhibition lasts, which is until the end of August. On now to theatre and shows. And something very special that's coming soon at the Alta Victoria in Avenida Parallel. After winning the hearts of the public for more than three years in theatres all over the world from London to Sydney, finally we at last in Barcelona get the chance to see it a show which reviews the most seductive of all dances, the tango. Tango Fire, as the review is called, brings together the Argentinian tangos of all kinds, from the most traditional to the more avant-garde, including master of the genre, Astor Piazzolla. Definitely not to be missed. But get your ticket quickly. The show is only on for three weeks, from the 26th of May to the 14th of June. And over at the Teatro Nacional, a new production by Joseph Maria Mestres of a play by Irish playwright George Bernard Shaw, Heartbreak House, La Casa de los Cors Trencats. People with characters ranging from the eccentric radical to plain ridiculous, Shaw paints a magnificent portrait with his usual intelligent, biting irony of a world cut adrift and scarred by war. Until the 21st of June. <laughs> And as for music, June is Sona Month, Barcelona's Grand Music Festival, which this year claims to be more electronic than ever. This year, the festival includes artists ranging from such famous, well-established talents as Grace Jones to emerging ones like Crystal Castles and Later the Pier, as well as Puppet Mastaz, Guillamino and Malo Rodriguez. A new development this year is a special festival for children, Sona Kids. Well, that's enough to be getting on with, isn't it? If you want any more information about any of these events, you can go to the websites for bcn.cat or Canal Cultura. See you again soon. Bye.